Would you believe it? I'm back again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Um, video two of uh, this the same day. Unbelievable scenes, right here. Uh, we're here now to preview the match on Sunday. Another big game and a big week for Celtic as we take on Aberdeen in the quest to complete the treble treble. Well, the first part of the treble treble. We take Aberdeen on in the League Cup final for the second time under Brendan Rodgers. Um, both of us proceeding through, obviously us beating Hearts. And Aberdeen beating Rangers uh, last month to get ourselves through to the final, which has taken place at Hamden. Just to just to reassure anybody that was unsure. Um, obviously we played our semi-final at Murrayfield. The final is at Hamden Park. I'll be there before everybody starts asking in the comment section. Yes, I've got my tickets right here. Um, but I Celtic Aberdeen in a cup final, which um, for Celtic is important. I mean, I think the the, the expectation now on Celtic is just to really go and win uh, everything they can. You know, Brendan Rodgers has built a massive um, success at Celtic over the last two years by winning every single domestic trophy available. Six out of six. This is his seventh attempt at trying to win something. And it looks as though he could be making a seven for seven. I'm I'm vastly confident. I don't want to be I don't want to make it one of those videos and one of those games where I come on blowing the trumpet saying, oh, I'm so confident here, uh, we're going to do this, we're going to win, Aberdeen have no chance. I don't want to come on and say that, because then Aberdeen will end up fucking scudding this on Sunday, and then I look like a right tip. But I've now really felt more confident and more at ease heading into a cup final. I mean, granted, last year we were playing Motherwell, of all teams in both cup finals, and, and for that, you know, you're thinking to yourself, Motherwell, we should be able to win. But with the way Aberdeen have started their season, and the way they've just came off the back of a very negative performance against Motherwell, who have had a horrific season, uh, and the way Celtic have been playing as of late, there is no reason as to why any Celtic fan should have any um, sort of lingering doubt heading into this match on Sunday. There is no reason. I mean, I understand it's a cup final, and um, when I sit in the stadium, I probably will think to myself, the nerves will probably hit me a bit more, and they'll be thinking, you know, oh, what if we don't win here, what if we lose? But... I mean, in this current situation, I think uh, uh, the, the vast majority of you will agree with me in saying this is a cup final, in which I feel confident, I feel like we'll be going in and, um, ha you know, easily taking it home. Never, It's never over to the fat lady sings, of course, and I haven't sung yet, but, um, you know, the, the, there's still a long way to go. And uh, for Celtic, it's a, a confusing one, because what sort of team are we going to play? Are we going to play the exact same squad that was fielded last night against Rosenborg. I mean, are we going to play the same set of legs? Um, I don't think they'll be vastly um, unfit or anything like that after playing last night's game. I don't think there's going to be a drastic change in performance levels just because they played on Thursday night. At the end of the day, this is a cup final. And I think the approach we have taken to every cup final since Brendan Rodgers has came in is another reason why I do not feel at all nervous at this point in time. Granted, yes, we have came off the back of a massive Europa League game uh, against Rosenborg, away from home as well to add into the bargain. But um, the way we have approached cup finals, we've approached them with such ruthlessness, um, we've always looked at ease, and at no point have we looked really at struggle. The, the closest cup final we were given was obviously against Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup. But yet again, another one of those games where, you know, it's just if that day we were a bit more clinical, we could have took a lot more chances, scored a lot more goals, and we left it late. Um, but overall, I mean, you look back to the history, we, we pumped Aberdeen in the League Cup final in 2016, we beat them in the Scottish Cup final, we beat Motherwell twice with ease in Cup finals last year, the approach Brendan Rodgers and the mindset that Brendan Rodgers gets into his team heading into these Cup finals is clearly, um, and it's been evident, is clearly um, very successful. So once again, a reason why I don't feel at doubt at all, or I don't feel too anxious towards this game on Sunday. Um, of course it's a big game, of course there's a lot riding on, it's a cup at the end of the day and you want to take home everything as much as people may throw around the Diddy Cup and such and Rangers fans might throw around the term Diddy Cup, we didn't even want it and shit like that. In reality, this is the first step to us taking a historic treble treble. I mean the double treble was already historic enough, we don't need to make more history under Brendan Rodgers uh, to tell the truth, you know, we've had an invincible season, we've won back to back trebles, but to make, to, to win three trebles and make even more history, number one it's obviously fantastic for Celtic. It's great to say that we've lived through it. We get to see it, blah, blah, blah. But to rub it in the faces of Rangers fans is, is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I know for the Rangers fans watching, they're not going to appreciate that comment. 
Um, but I feel like I had to get it off my chest because it is and if it was the other way around the Rangers fans would be saying the exact same thing and I hate the approach of Diddy Cup every cup means something to me uh, personally I, w- I, w- I want to see Celtic win every trophy that is available um, at a realistic level I mean we're not going to go and win the Europa League probably but um, if it was possible I'd be expecting Celtic to win it sadly that's not the case uh, as for the team as I was saying you know we might see Scott Brown come back into the start lineup, and I have a slight suspicion that he may now, he came on the park last night, and it wasn't much time, and you don't didn't really get to see much of a performance from him. I mean, how much was there, honestly, for him to do when he came on for the last 10 or so minutes? Um, so, I have a slight suspicion Brown might come back into the team, considering he's a captain, he's a man who'll be lifting the trophy, he's a man who deserves um, to, to, to lead the team out uh, in a cup final um, for everything he's done for Celtic. So, I have a slight suspicion Brown could come back into the team, but at the same time, obviously... Is Brendan Rodgers going to want to risk um, messing up that great midfield linking that we've got between McGregor, Rodgers and Christie just now in such a, a game with a, a high magnitude, uh, with such a big magnitude? You know, it's a, a massive thing for Brendan Rodgers, clearly, to win these Cups uh, or we wouldn't have won six from six. So, um, I, will Brown come back into the team? It's, it's up for discussion. I wouldn't mind, personally. But I think a lot of people will mind that the fact we may disrupt the, the flow of, as I said, that midfield partnership that we have got going on right now, which is looking great, and it looks better than better by the game. So I don't think many people will want to see that get disrupted. For the rest of the team, honestly, I don't expect many changes from the match last night. To be honest, I would expect to see probably the exact same team. Um, there's been no talk of any fitness issues as of yet, and that we didn't really show any signs of fitness issues last night. Um, against against um, Rosenborg so I'm expecting the same team in all honesty Gordon, Lustig, Bayata, Benkovic, Tierney uh, Roderick, McGregor, Christie and then probably Sinclair, Forrest and Edward up front Griffiths may come in after getting a goal last week he may get the start in this game give Edward a bit of a rest I imagine both of them will get spells throughout the game no matter who starts obviously one will probably come off and one will come on more likely Edward starting the game and Griffiths coming on a bit later but after getting a goal last week and from trying to get back in the team, maybe we'll give Edward a rest, he didn't uh, really do anything, none of them done anything last night really, um, but I feel like Griffiths could potentially be another player who comes back into the starting lineup for this game, but as I said, I'm fully expecting the same team, uh, and I do not mind that at all, it's a winning formula, and uh, why why change something if it's if it's doing well, if it's winning, um, you know, you don't, don't fix it if it's not broke, that's what they say, um, and right now Celtic are, are certainly uh, not broke, uh, we're far from it. Aberdeen, though, on the other hand, the reason I'm feeling confident are certainly broke and they need a fixing. Um, but they could take out in this. They could surprise us on Sunday. You know, lure us in with that false sense of insecurity uh, after the big loss to Motherwell and then just put us down and kill us on Sunday. Could happen. You never know. I don't expect it to. If I have to put a prediction on the score for the game, to be honest, I see it being very similar to the League Cup final in 2016. Um, I think we will go out and score a few goals into them and uh, I think we'll you know demolish them on the park uh, in, the, in the sense of playing so I'm going to say 3-0 Celtic um, Forrest getting a goal Christy getting a goal and Edward getting a goal that's my prediction very confident though Sunday let's just get the basics right let's create a lot of chances let's put them under pressure from the off that's what we have to do and go out with one of these performances that uh, has a lot of ruthlessness um, where we just take our chances and we make a lot of them you know we get one of, we get those sort of games and I'm expecting to be one of those games we're probably going to end the game with like 20 shots on target eh, not on target off target and it's annoying because you can't finish your dinner but to get them buckled under pressure from the off is very important probably let's not leave things late let's not let things get scrappy I'm expecting Aberdeen to go in hard play slightly aggressive um, they tend to uh, against Celtic uh, and so does every team really but Aberdeen probably will go in very aggressive to the match with a very aggressive approach and try and get something try and be a wee bit dirty uh, just fight right through it that's what we have to do and try and get a goal as early as possible really uh, and, and just be as I said creative exploit the weaknesses on their side you know we really are exploiting the wings well at the minute with Forrest and Sinclair both being in the team and McGregor being moved back into the middle we're doing well getting those balls and we just need to connect more with them I mean Sinclair scored a fucking header last night right but I'm very confident, that's the point, and I'm going to go for 3-0 Celtic. Um, let me know your predictions uh, as well in the comments below. Let me know your opinions towards my opinions, and let's hope, let's hope and pray that this is the first of the three 
for the treble treble uh, and I'm confident it will be but we'll see come Sunday we'll see what I'm saying on Monday morning when I'm making my match review um, if I'll be as happy as how I'm feeling right now um, like and subscribe greatly appreciated and I'll see you all next time